Hello. Today I'm going to review how to deploy Kubernetes clusters with Open Nebula. So in particular with this screencast, I'm going to show you how to use the Kubernetes virtual appliance that's available on the Open Nebula public marketplace. And with that, I'm going to instantiate a multi-node Kubernetes cluster. Uh, we'll see that once the Kubernetes cluster is running, I'll then deploy a simple application, an Nginx web server, and then I'll expose the application with the load balancer service type that's been recently added to the Kubernetes appliance. Okay, so let me start with the demo. So we're starting off, I've already deployed an Open Nebula cloud with a front end and a host that's a KVM hypervisor. Okay. Using the Sunstone graphical interface, we'll first download and import the Kubernetes appliance. All right, so we go to the storage and look at the apps tab and we're gonna search for Kubernetes. At this point, I'm gonna select the OneFlow service and then click the import button. Okay, and we'll select the default image data store and click on the download. There we go. So when the download is started, an, an image is gonna be imported into the default image data store of the cluster and two templates will be created. One is for the OneFlow service and the other is for the virtual machine. Okay, so before instantiating the service, we're gonna to need to create a network that's gonna be used by the Kubernetes appliance to allocate IP addresses for the load balancer services. So we go to the virtual networks tab, you'll see that we've already created a network that's gonna be used for the communication between the nodes of the Kubernetes cluster. All right, so now we're gonna define another virtual network for the load balancer IPs. We go to the addresses and create a new address range by specifying right, the first IP and then adding in the size, okay, the new address range has been now being created. And now we're gonna reserve all those addresses for the load balancer service type by creating a new virtual network and call it IBVNet. Okay, so now we can instantiate the Kubernetes cluster. We'll go onto the instance tab, click on the services and create a new service based on that Kubernetes appliance. Let's put a name for that service and for the network of the cluster. We need this to select the VNet network. Okay, now we can configure the IP address range for the load balancer by putting the range of the IPs that we reserved previously. Okay. Good. Okay, so now we can go and create the service. You can see that new service is created and it's in the deploying state. Over here on the VM instances tab, we can see that a new VM related to the master has been deployed. Okay, so during the VM boot process, the, the Kubernetes cluster is set up and configured. Okay, and once the master is running, that OneFlow service is gonna deploy a worker node that will join the cluster. All right, so this bootstrap process is gonna take a couple of minutes. So I'll stop things for a moment and come back in just a few minutes. All right, so once the cluster is ready, we can now connect to the master node. Um, since I'm already logged in the, into the Open Nebula front end host as the one, min, one admin user, now I'm just gonna SSH from the front end to the master node using the VM IP. Okay, check if the nodes are ready. Okay, now we can deploy an Nginx application. All right, we can check now, let's see if the Nginx pod is created. I know that this is gonna take a little bit of time since it has to actually pull the image. So once we, 
Once we execute that, we'll wait a few seconds and I'll cut back in. Okay. All right, so now the pad is running. Now what we're gonna do is expose the application using the load balancer service type. This allows it to reach the application also outside from the Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so we're gonna check the service and here we'll see that a load balancer service type has been created. And one of the IPs that has been reserved for the load balancer virtual network has, been, has also been allocated. All right, here we're gonna log out of the master node and we'll now test the application by running a curl command from the front end node. Okay, and, and here you go. You can now see that we can access the application from outside of the cluster. And here you have it. You can see that deploying Kubernetes clusters with OpenEbula is as simple as that. Thank you.